Hey guys, Spectrum Minecraft here, and welcome back to my second episode of my Let's Play series. Um, last episode, if you didn't see it, nothing too important happened. I was just discussing some stuff and taking a look at where I was going to build my house from. I think I spawned down in the snow bomb somewhere, and I ran up, found the jungle, and this is where I'm going to be living. So, right now, I've, I've set up a big tree house, and I'm going to show you guys um, a bit more of what I'm doing, but basically I'm going to live in the jungle originally. Hey look, there's an ocelot. Um, hmm. I, I really can't catch any fish right now because I don't have any string. And I can't get string unless I kill some spiders. So, that's a problem and I won't be able to get any ocelots yet. However, I do see a lot of ocelots um, down by the water here. I think I saw two originally when I was building off camera after my last episode. Um, all I did with off camera is basically cut some trees and add it to my house up there. Um, really, I'm not going to do many important things off camera, and I'm probably not even going to discuss them that often when, when I get into the flow of uploading this originally as my series, unless I do something something huge. A lot of the main building and harvesting will be done off camera, and I'll just be playing and you know thinking of new ideas, building, stuff like that when we're back. Um, actually in the episode. So yeah, I have seen a lot of ocelots around the water hole here, although I can't really... Hmm. Oh, that's cute. There's a little baby ocelots running around all over the place. They're so tiny. That's really cool. I wonder if baby ocelots just spawn or if they're, um, usually generate, uh, or usually spawn like that. That is really cool. Um, yeah, so I was gonna... This episode, actually, yes, yeah, so there's my house up there, so, um, I've been thinking of names for it, I'm going to call it the Cocoa Puff, because it's going to be a big ball, and I'm going to harvest tons of cocoa beans in it, and that's where I'm going to live, it's not going to be my main house, um, it's just going to be a quick shelter to have since it's that high up off the ground, it's a lot safer to, like, you know, survive in, and, um, just stay up out of the reach of mobs and stuff like that. So. Alright, so I'm back. Sorry about all these cuts. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm just trying to get some wheat so that I can actually end up making cookies because cocoa beans are not a problem. This place has tons of them. Um, nice, there's a little cave. I was thinking of starting a mine that I just like dig down into um, from like up in my cocoa bean or below that tree. I'd make a nice little area that I had, um, you know, like, dig straight down and just start a mine that way later on. Um, but I'm just gonna get some sand here, just in case I want to make some glass. Here we are. I'm sort of a perfectionist in my worlds. I like if all the water's even and stuff like that. I just don't want it to look all, all messy and nasty, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna keep, um, harvesting this stuff, because I do want to finish my house and get some main things laid out for my series and then they'll probably be finished by next episode yeah here we are um the trees i don't even have any stone yet that's sort of sort of a problem i really want to get some ocelots though that'd be really cool i think all they do is scare off creepers i'm still really new to this update so i'm not entirely sure what their purpose is but i just like them because they look cool <laughs> And it'd be nice to have around the house, to be honest, just as like a decoration thing. Um, here we are. Yeah, I love how the jungles look. They look really nice, and my house is going to be easy to spot above everything. So, I don't think I, I'm ever going to lose the tree that I'm up. Here we are. I think i got to get to this side to be able to climb up. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta... There we are. Alright, so I'm back in my, uh, treehouse thing. And I've just been building around it, like, I put the blocks down like this, pop up, and then stick the jungle wood on that side. And there we are. I have more added already. And it just keeps growing until it's going to be a big ball. And then I'm going to have um, cocoa beans hanging from the roof all over the sides. I could actually start that right now. 
just like that. <laughs> and then I'd, I'd have like tons of these growing everywhere. And yeah, I think this is gonna, gonna end up looking pretty cool to be honest. Um, jungle tree sapling, I could grow jungle trees and stuff too. Okay, well the sun is setting. So, oh man, I'm really low on wood. So this isn't turning out as well, but I'm gonna go out for my first night time. If I die, again, this isn't a super hardcore series, so I'm not this early on gonna be focusing on surviving as much as just getting getting set up. I'm still surviving, I'm not yet thriving, so I'm gonna look for some food, maybe start a mine down here. You know, I should get oslets all over the all over the place here set up. I wonder if they stand stationary for you or if they walk around really annoying me. Um, I could have a mine that goes down like this. Yeah, just that would go down like this and then um hmm actually I have a cool idea. Okay, so I know that that goes like that. Oh, I need to go, I'm gonna need to find iron to actually pull this off, but I'd have a little cave that would start um, here just like that, and then it, it would dig down. And then I'd have it all covered up, and then that would just sort of go down into the ground. It's sort of hidden, not really well, but I think it still looks pretty interesting. Yeah, and then it would just sort of sneak into the ground. I guess it's sort of messed up right there. I'll need to cover that up with um, something sometime. Um, yeah, so that's going to be my mine. And what else do I got to do? I got to get some, some stone. So I think I'm going to head up and either hunt for some spiders so that I can get up. Uh, so I can hmm, actually... If I can fight off a spider, it's one thing. If I can actually kill it and get its string with the amount of health I have and food bars, that's like an entirely different question. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die probably because I have no, no food. There's a zombie. I can get him to finish me. Then I can, then I'll have full health and I can go back at uh, looking for stuff to do. I can just spawn and I'm sleeping in my bed so it'll be daytime. Whoa. He just rushed me. I haven't seen a zombie move that fast, like, in a long time. Okay, well, here we are. Okay, so I think I'll make some sticks, just go harvest a bit more wood, just so that I can... I feel like Tarzan right now. <laughs> yeah, and if I get enough wood, then I can make myself a sword and a stone pickaxe, so I can get myself stone, stone and an axe and I can harvest tons of more jungle trees so I can end up setting up my um, cocoa bean house. The jungle is such a pretty place like it's so um it visually for Minecraft Xbox 360 edition I think it's incredibly important and it's a great new edition I'm I'm loving these updates that my uh, 4 Days Studios keeps putting out so I think that I'm going to, later in the future, I wonder if I'm going to still live in the jungle though, or if I'm going to finally move out. At one point I will need to explore the entire world here. That's something that's going to need to be done. Um, so I'm going to need some maps. I'm going to have a frame here. I wonder, what do you need to build frames with? I'm going to go take up, go up, take an inventory check, check out the stuff that I got to do. And I should have harvested tons of wood like at a time instead of getting a bit, going back up, getting a bit, going back up. That's something I usually find myself doing. It sort of sucks, but you know, if I get this done, and then I'll be um, ahead on my series. Actually, I sort of feel a bit lost here. No, there's the cocoa. There's the cocoa puff. Nice. I, I really like the vines everywhere. It adds this like whole parkour feel that you can just climb on everything in the jungle here. I think 
the best route to get up is on this side. Yeah, there's full vines. Right to little staircase that was naturally there. This tree turn, turned out as such a good idea. So I'm gonna stick on my last bit of jungle wood here. And um, yeah, something I should have talked about actually is the Apocalypse map pack is coming out for Black Ops 2 and with the Zombies map Origins. And I think that I have enough Call of Duty fans that watch my videos because a lot of Call of Duty people play Minecraft and likewise more Minecraft people play Call of Duty. Um, Call of Duty Zombies is a game that I think I've had a gameplay of it on this channel before. I think it's a really cool game. I've always liked it and uh, I think I'll do some gameplay of that actually when the Origins map pack comes out because it is going to be insane. Very impressive and yeah, it looked absolutely crazy. It's going to be even crazier than I think it looked. And I think I'll do gameplay of that this Tuesday. Um, so be sure that you're there for that if you like Call of Duty stuff. Now I wonder if I should have a little mining room down here. Or if I should have the staircase go like all the way down. Hmm. I'm gonna need like actual stairs so that I don't lose so much food when jumping this way. Um, how could I camouflage the stairs in with this though? That's a cool little thing to think about. Um, let's make a crafting table. I'll just put that here for now. And. What type of stairs should I get? Are there jungle wood stairs? Yeah, there are. That's sort of a pink type of um, wood. Okay, so I'm going to need to break that. There we are. And then I'll have this um, a little room at the bottom here. I got to get rid of this block here first. Or actually finish these stairs off I guess that wasn't that bad of an idea yeah this looks pretty cool this is where my mine will be and I can make myself a furnace just set that up here too um, go cut go cut some wood here just get off these little pieces that have grown off this absolutely gigantic tree and put them into my um, furnace so I get some torches and I can finish off my stairs too with the leftovers. There we go. One more piece and that should be good enough. So let's toss two pieces in and use the last two pieces to finish the stairs off. I don't even have enough. Well there will be leftover in the furnace for sure. Um, okay, so one, two, three, um, there we go, that should be deep enough down for the little, just sort of, um, recuperation room, or just like regroup room, hmm, I don't know what to call it, but it's just like a little room that I'd have at the bottom of this, of the mine to sort of just store materials and stuff like that. Um, you know, regroup after I've gone down mining. Have some supplies stashed there. And I think that's going to be good. If I can grab a bit more wood, I can make a door. And then I'll have this room set up. So my mine is now set up. And my Cocoa Puff house is going to be set up really soon. And then after this, I can do a lot more stuff off camera and really really set this series on a roll with pulling in regular mining supplies off camera all the time and at the same time I will be getting my house done and agriculture stuff like that. I'm going to need to start on a legitimate like, farm. Oops. Uh, wheat farm. I think I'll do that over in the swamp and then I have the cocoa puff, cocoa bean farm. 
up in my Cocoa Puff house. And I have a mine down here that I can mine from. And yeah, so we're off to a decent start this episode, to be honest, guys. Um, here we are. Just got my nice little house set up here. Actually, yeah, that, that worked out fine with the door. Here we are. So next episode, guys, um, should have some supplies. The mine should be dug out. Roots for mining should have some sort of food source so I don't need to kill myself too much because that's sort of a new thing to do. Um, which is sort of sad, but yeah, so thanks guys for watching. That's all for this episode. Spectrum out.